Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In this new short series I'm going to go through what do you need to do to write in different forms, article, letter, speech, essay, that kind of thing, in AQA English Language Paper 2 Question 5. And everything that I go through in this video comes from Mr. Bruff's Guide to GCSE English Language, which is available in paperback on Amazon or as an ebook at mrbruff.com. So what I want to look at today is how would you write an article? Now an article is an interesting uh, type of writing because you might be asked to write an article for a newspaper, for a magazine, for a web page and as long as the word is article then it doesn't really matter where it's for, these are the rules that you'll follow. So the first thing is, and you can see this example in the revision guide, but you're going to need a headline. Here we've got the headline, Pensioners Pollute. And a headline is supposed to grab the reader's attention. I don't know if you've ever tried this, but if you ever pick up a newspaper and actually try to read every single article in the newspaper, it will take you a massive amount of time. And the expectation with a newspaper and a magazine is that you flick through and you look at the headlines and you see if one grabs your attention. So what you'll see here in pensioners pollute, pollute is that it should be short, it should be snappy, there's some alliteration here which is often a nice effective way of grabbing attention and it should hint at what the, um, the story is about but not give too much away. Then after that you've got the strap line which summarizes the whole article in one or two sentences. And this is really interesting again, and it all comes down to the conventions of uh, primarily a newspaper, but it does work for the internet and for magazines as well, which is that again, you would read this first paragraph, the strap line, and you would make a decision on whether you wanted to read more. But what's interesting about a strap line is it actually tells you the whole article. So here we have, as current surveys show, 75% of old people hold young people responsible for today's problems. Gina Hobson suggests today's youth are not the key offenders. The elderly ruined the environment before they were even born. So you can see that this strap line basically tells you the whole story. I think that's quite interesting and it's something that's quite unique to the article. And what's happening is that introductory paragraph references the quotation in the question and firmly states your point of view on it as well. Then you've got the actual body of the article and you can see the different paragraphs here and you know you're just sort of stating your your ideas and your argument your point of view but we break those up with these subheadings these um, make do and mend and old people are to blame and subheadings might summarize the next section, they might be a quotation that, that are pulled from an interview that summarizes the next section, or it might just be a kind of uh, a very short statement that is summarizes in your own words. And the rest of the article provides more detail about the topic. So if you are asked to write an article, try to think of a good headline, try to think of how you could summarize the whole thing in a strap line and break the text up, break your writing up with some subheadings which summarize the next section of the text. I hope you found this video useful. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already.